What's going on guys? My name is Josh. Welcome back to the channel. There's Gabe. And we're working on the go-kart again. So this is episode three of the go-kart series, also known as... Little Critter Series. The Little Critter Series. So we're working on the Little Critter. This is the Little Critter go-kart made by Manco. And if you watched the last two videos, you saw us fix the brakes in episode one. And then we also did the full tune-up in episode two. So if you want to see those videos, the links to those videos will be down in the description. But today we are working on the clutch. We have a brand new clutch here. You can see that I ordered. Should be the right size, hopefully. We'll know in a minute. And then of course we have another chain because that chain's all, we're gonna have to take it off anyways and retention it. So we got a new one. So first thing we wanna do is start taking off this tire and we can get a better look at what we got going on here. So let's get started. I was worried about how hard it would be to get off. And so I looked online. Okay, so one thing I knew is that when you turn this bolt on the end of this clutch, is that this clutch wants to completely spin with the bolt. Like this whole thing wants to spin and no matter what you do, you can try holding this clutch and everything, but the whole drive shaft wants to spin with it. So what I did was I went online and looked up some tips on how to remove this bolt from this clutch. And I came across the channel, I think his name was Spike. I'll link his channel down below, but he gave a really great tip. And we'll try it out right here. I've already tried it out once, so I know it works. Um, but the tip here is to grab your wrench and put it here on the end of the bolt, just like this. And then you wanna give you, with a hammer, you wanna give it a couple taps to loosen it. It's already loosened it, I see it already. And so that should, be enough to loosen it without um, without spinning the entire clutch or the drive shaft on that. But yeah, awesome, it's coming apart. Nice. That's good. It came flying at you. I knew it was going to do that. It hit my foot, which is good. It didn't hit me, but... All right, cool. We need to keep this. This is the key right here that we need to put in this keyway. All right, so we got the old clutch off, but before we put the new clutch on, what I want to do is there's four bolts underneath the engine that's holding the engine onto the engine plate, and we're going to need to loosen those because we're going to need to tension the new chain. So what I want to do is since I need to loosen those bolts anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take those bolts all the way off and I'm gonna pick the engine up, set it to the side, and I'm going to clean underneath it. Because if you saw in the last video, we changed the oil, and we got oil all over the frame, remember that? So we're gonna do that right now. All right, so we have the engine mounted, but we don't want to tighten the bolts down yet because we're still going to need to tension this new chain. So before we tighten things up, let's go ahead and get the clutch put back on, the new chain, and then we can tighten everything back down. Can we 
sure what's on all the way. Yeah. There we go. Dude, it's gonna work so well. Let's get her on, dude. I think we're at this point we're just putting her back together, dude. Let's go. Thumbs up all the way. Thumbs up all the way, hey, baby. Yeah, we'll just put this on and then we'll tighten up the bolts at the bottom of the engine and then I think we'll be ready to rip, dude. Let's go. Give me your good face. There we go. Tighten her down real good. We be out here. So. Okay. You see, we got the new clutch on. Yep. New clutch. Might need to tension that. I think I'm. I, I thought it was fine. Got a little bit more room, so it wouldn't be much of a problem if the chain comes off. We'll we'll adjust that. But okay. we're gonna start it up for now, and then we'll put the chain guard on if it's running all right. Okay. it over here and then we'll, we'll get the app ready and then we'll start doing a speed test okay okay i'll go grab your phone how does she feel oh, great. nice are you ready yeah. i'm gonna try to chase after you <laughs> where are you going boys
22. 22 is the best we could do. Pretty fast though. Yeah. Yeah. And there's other things you can do to the to the go-kart, like take off the governor and mm -hmm. make it go faster. And there's other performance modifications that we could do. New exhaust. And sometimes you can you can uh, you can jet the carb and you can uh, some, bore out some of the things to to make it run and have more airflow and more and more things to uh, uh, make it sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Awesome, dude. You excited about that? Let's go! I'm so hyped. Thanks for your help. We rocked it today, man. Busy day. All right, guys. Thanks for watching episode three of the go-kart series. The little critter series. The little critter series. I appreciate you guys watching. We got the clutch on. It works great. Um, the cart's a little slow. I think we topped out at 22 miles per hour. Um, so maybe adjust the governor or... Um, do other performance modifications but as for now it's a running working go-kart so we're gonna rip it um, enjoy it for what it is now obviously this is his first go-kart so 22 miles an hour isn't that bad and we're gonna do a lot of off-roading anyway so mm -hmm. you're not gonna want to you know top it out too much anyways yeah. uh, but maybe someday someday down the road we can uh, do some other performance things and, and make this thing a ripper but for now I think what we're gonna work on next for episode 4 is a lot of the cosmetic stuff so we're gonna get the um, the foam on, the padding. We got that new red padding, we're gonna get the mirrors on. I have the um, all the proper um, mounts for the mirrors because it didn't come with the proper mounts. Um, and then... Look at these bad boys. And look guys, we got brand new front tires. If you guys look, desperately need it. It's dark in here, I know, but... But yeah, it's uh, turned out to be a, a pretty good uh, project so far, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun with this. So if you guys want to watch some of the older videos, make sure you guys click on the links down in the description. You can see episodes one and two, and we're going to be putting out more episodes on this cart um, until we're satisfied with it, which maybe never, you know, you can always add on. We're going to eventually want lights and a stereo and some speakers and yeah. who knows, man. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, uh, share it with your friends. But yeah, thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Peace!